In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to use AR Foundation and, and U Universal Render Pipeline. Uh, and instead of starting from a scratch, I'm going to use the AR uh, uh, Universal Pipeline sem template sample. Um, so let's go to the, the new project. And then instead of this one, uh, I have already this um, uh, the tutorial recorded uh, how to start the URP from scratch. Uh, we are going to use this one as this has a lot of like nice parameters and sample scene so we can uh, kind of really boost the quality of the render uh, if we are using this template. So let's just go ahead and uh, start this template. Uh, it has a really nice uh, quality scene uh, and we can use uh, a lot of those features in the future. So I'm going to say URP AR sample and then start to create my project. Okay, here we have a simple sample scene. The sample uh, object here is pretty cool. It has all this lighting and the shadows and uh, different light pops. Um, there are lots of uh, good information about how to boost the lighting qualities. Um, uh, we are not going to cover too much about the details of how to improve uh, all these lightings uh, and material, but we are going to combine this scene uh, and po uh, put all of these scenes in our phone using AR Foundation. So before we do that, we already know that, let's bring this game scene here. We already know that AR camera is by default is in the reset, so let's mimic that position so we can actually uh, kind of predict what we are going to see in the AR scene. Uh, and obviously this scene is in real scale um, and it's too big for us to see in the AR. Um, of course, if you want to see one-to-one -one model, of course, this is fine. Uh, but we want to, uh, for this example, I want to put this one around uh, our camera in a smaller scale. So let's ch uh, change this scale first. Mm, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to reset this position and then move it in front of my camera and um, rotate this. 180 degrees and scale all of this down to 0 0.05 and then uh, now it's actually in a good position let me show you the relationship with the camera um, so camera is now looking uh, at this thing but it's too bright because when you are scaling it down uh, the lighting relationship is not really uh, working together. So what we want to do is dim down the lights that is baked in here. So there is a construction light and there is a spotlight. Let's dim this down to um, 0 0.01. And then let's see if it looks okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So we are going to uh, import. Now the scene is ready. So we're going to import the AR Foundation. So go to Windows, um, Package Manager. We already are familiar. AR, uh, import AR Foundation and AR Core. And because we are using template, the uh, URP uh, package is already in here. Alright, AR Core XR. Alright, so now in order to use the AR camera background, 
we need to access this uh, pipeline inside settings and this ren this is renderer uh, and these are the pipeline settings and by default uh, the pipeline settings using high quality uh, I can show you where we can find that information go to edits project settings and you see here it's using render uh, universal RP high quality uh, alternatively you can change this one to lower quality or medium quality if you have a um, uh, heavier project uh, if you prefer okay so universal renderer go in here uh, and make sure that you add this render feature and once you have your AR foundation installed you'll see this AR background option so you have to have this one now your uh, scene is um, allowing to access your camera uh, your phone camera or device camera Okay, and then let's now delete the main camera and then right click create AR, AR session origin and AR uh, session. So uh, here we already have this post processing volume. It has vignette, okay, and bloom, nice, and then tone mapping, awesome, and we, that is not really shown here. Um, so let's first go, let's make sure that our uh, AR session origin is in the correct position by always resetting. Uh, and now uh, we can make sure that our AR session, AR camera is here. Uh, we can also, uh, let's say, bring this one a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Yeah, that looks good. And then uh, we have to make sure that uh, all this uh, vignette the nice features of post-processing is applied to AR camera. So you make sure that you tick this post-processing. So you see, uh, you radically improved the quality of uh, the image. Okay, so once uh, you are ready, you already connected the uh, AR session and post-processing. Now we are ready to bake this. Uh, let's go to the build settings and let's change this to Android. We need to change field player settings for um, AR Foundation. Um, change the company name, and it's already in linear. We just need to delete the Vulkan. Untick multi-threaded rendering. and change the level to 26 so it says invalid character is complaining about something so let's not override and then change this one and then it's complaining about the arm 64 okay and then you go to XR plugin manager and tick the AR core all right, now we are ready to build. Click a folder called Builds. The URP they are samples. All right, now it's successfully built in the build folder, and then I test it on my phone, and this is the result.